Today we're going to talk about the 111 rule, and that is this. With a one syllable word ending in one vowel, then one consonant, double the last consonant before adding the vowel suffix. Okay, so basically the question is, do we double this D when we add a suffix? So first let's talk about this word. It's mad. Mad is one syllable. Can you hear it? Mad. Okay. It has one vowel and then one consonant. So the answer is yes, as long as we're adding a vowel suffix. The word is mad. Let's say we want to make madder. Like, I will be madder at my children if they don't stop talking. Mad-er. Okay. Er has, is E-R, so that starts with a vowel, and that's what we're doing, so that's why we double the D. Yes, it's one syllable. Yes, it has one vowel. Yes, it has one consonant. So then we're going to add a D and then do E-R. So let's say I want to spell the word madly. So let me get rid of this. Here we have mad. Still one syllable, still one vowel, and then one consonant. But we're going to add Lee. Well, Lee starts with a consonant, so it is a consonant suffix. So we do not double the D. We only double the D when there is uh, a vowel or a vowel suffix. Okay, let's look at another word. This is the word meet. Okay, meet. Now, if I want to write that I'm going to a meeting, my question is, do I double the T? Well. We have one syllable, meet. Do you hear it? One syllable. and then But then look at this. We have two E's here and then one consonant. But here we have two vowels. So no, we are not going to uh, double the consonant. So here is the word meeting without a double consonant. Meeting. Does that make sense? Let's go over the rule one more time. With a one syllable word ending in one vowel, then one consonant, double the last consonant before adding the vowel suffix.